What's up, Rocky family? Welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys, I have a Dollar Tree haul, and it's a good Dollar Tree haul. Before we begin, got a new graphic t-shirt I want to share, the Animaniacs. This one was only $4.99. Got it at Burlington Co. Factory. Again, in the men's section because girls' graphic tees are really, really crappy. I never find any good graphic nostalgic t-shirts in like the juniors, women's, girls section. It's always like Disney related stuff or like emojis. I used to love the Animaniacs, especially the theme song. It's time for Animaniacs. Like I said, this week's Dollar Tree haul is a good one. And as always, I like to start off my Dollar Tree hauls with my favorite item I found this week at Dollar Tree. And my favorite item was these Yes to Blueberries Age Refresh Cleansing Facial Wipes. I've seen people hauling the charcoal wipes. I can't find those just yet. But I was able to find these. Now, these do say Age Refresh. If you're younger, that doesn't mean you can't use them. This is just going to help remove makeup. But the ingredients inside of this is for aging. So there's 10 wipes inside of each pack. Now I know these retail at Target for like $5.99 if you buy the regular size pack because this is more like a trial size pack. The regular size pack I think has about 35 wipes in it. Don't quote me on that but I know it's somewhere around there. And I'm positive it's $5.99 because I recently was looking for some makeup wipes and I remember staring at the Yes To makeup wipes. What this says is Yes To blueberries and apples plus lemon peel to cleanse and moisturize in one swipe. Yes To is a name brand. They have a bunch of different products and each do something different now when it comes to yes to the thing that I'm most familiar with are their face mask I use their face mask especially the charcoal one and this week at Dollar Tree I was able to find only one of their face masks I found the yes to cotton comforting mud mask now I saw people haul different um, masks from yes to but like I said these were the only ones I was able to find so I did pick up two of them now this one is for sensitive skin it says protects and minimizes irritation for ultra sensitive skin and allergy prone skin. I'm pretty positive this mask is not like a paper mask. I think it would have said that if it was. I think it's just like the mud mixture and then you put it on you like a mask. Now at Walmart I know the Yes To mask retail for $2.50. I actually recently bought the charcoal mask and that cost me $2.50 at Walmart. So to get each one for a dollar you are saving quite a bit of money. Now I don't know if they discontinued some of these but I saw people like I said hauling like the charcoal mask and they still carry the charcoal mask. I think the reason Dollar Tree has it right now is because the packaging that is in stores like Walmart and Target is different than what Dollar Tree has. So maybe they changed the packaging and that's why Dollar Tree um got did I just say dollar or taller? Anyways, Dollar Tree got you know these in. Here's actually the charcoal mask I bought recently at Walmart. I'm going to use this because my sister's wedding is this Saturday so I want to make sure I use one of these. I've used one of these before. Um, I know they say like don't start anything major skin wise if you have your wedding coming up or a wedding that you're in coming up so um, yeah I've tried this before. I'm going to use it again. It works well for me. So not only was I able to find the Yes To face mask I was able to find more face mask and not the Dollar Tree brand because the Dollar Tree brand face mask I think it's called retinol something they're ooh, they're bad it's like putting gunk on your face and it does nothing and then you wash the gunk off so all of these say they are made in Korea so the first mask I got is from Stella Fiesta it's their pearl mask it says radiant and luminous skin and yes this one is like the paper that you put over the face and then you wait a while it says on the back make your skin radiant with Stella's pearl face mask this nutrition rich mask boosts the enzymes in skin while leaving it silky soft rebuild your natural collagen for a supple luminous skin that everyone will envy. The next face mask I got is again by Stella Fiesta. It's their aloe vera face mask. It says it's soothing and nourishing. Then the last mask I got is from the cream shop. It is their chia seed ultimate hydration face mask. It says on the back, chia seeds have a multitude of skin and health benefits. Chia, se uh, chia seeds are high in omega-3 fatty acids, which help prevent acne and potassium, which eliminates bloating and puffiness. Packed with vitamin E and zinc, chia seeds contain powerful antioxidants to combat wrinkles and inflammation. I don't know how much this retails for. I looked online, but it just led me to like Amazon and eBay where they can always jack up the prices. So I don't know the true retail value on this but I do know this one. Either way, happy to find them, happy to try these out. I know these are gonna work because it's Yes To and I've tried them before and I do know that they're like a name brand and a trusted brand. This never heard of before, but I'm excited to use it nonetheless. And I'm happy, like I said, that it's not Dollar Tree um, brand face mask. Moving on, if you know me, you know I love lights. I love string lights specifically. I always imagine when I got married, I would have a bunch of lights and that still is my plan. 
I just love string lights and the look of like Christmas lights and all of that. This week at Dollar Tree, I was able to find some new string lights I've never seen before and they are the cutest string lights. So the first one I got is the string light with flamingo design and there's 10 lights with each string. And they're battery operated, you need two AA batteries. The next one I got, which is my favorite, is the unicorn one. This one is so cute. And then the last one I got, again super cute, are little pineapples. I, like I said, never seen these at Dollar Tree. I found these in the front near the registers and I just had to buy them. Like, oh my god, they're so cute. These lights are cool lights, meaning they look more like a white light rather than a warm light that looks a little bit more yellow. These next items I got for my friend's kid. Recently we saw Christopher Robin in theaters and since then she's been obsessed with Winnie the Pooh. So at Dollar Tree right now they have Tsum Tsums in but the plushy Tsum Tsums. Before they had the little figurines which is something I like more. I don't really like plushies. I collect figurines but not really plushy type of things. These are the plushies though, the smaller plushies. So I got Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Tigger and Eeyore. There was a bunch of different characters. I got these ones specifically for her and I know she's going to be so happy to find these. And for a dollar, a great deal. I know these things, I think they retailed for like three to four dollars at Target when they were actually at Target. I told you guys growing up I used to love Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore were my favorite characters. My sister used to love Tigger though. Oh my gosh, a huge Tigger fan. I got a couple of food items to share with you guys this week just because it's a great deal for a dollar. The expiration date on them is a little short so you have to use them soon. And I do know that when Dollar Tree gets name brand food in, it's usually like the same expiration date all across the board. Um, so what I got were club crackers from Keebler, name brand. These crackers are really good. I usually eat these with chicken salad or tuna salad. So the expiration date is September um, 19th on this. So I do have a little bit over a month to use this. And then the other item that I got, again from um, Keebler, and it's their club mini cheddar crackers. So there is uh, an expiration date of September 16th on this, but for a dollar, totally worth it, and I know I'll be able to eat it before the expiration date. So Dollar Tree right now has gotten a new wave in of their phone accessories. It's the same phone accessories that they always carry, except the packaging looks like something that you would get at like Five Below or Target. So I was able to find more of their Type-C USB cables, which is very important for me because my phone is a newer Android, and the Android phone, the Galaxy, it's not the same t type of um, Android charger that it used to be. It's wider now. So I was able to find some more. I haven't been able to find these in a while. And usually when I find them, they're in a like different type of packaging than this. So I was able to find them in a bunch of different colors. I picked up five of them total because I need all five. Like I don't know how many times I lose these things. They don't charge as fast as the one that you get with the phone, but obviously that's the one you get with the phone. That's always going to be the best one that you're going to have. If you try to buy these directly from Samsung, they're not going to cost you a dollar each. Dollar Tree got some more woodblock letters in, but this time they have a mermaid pattern on them. So cute. I was able to find a B. I really, really wanted to get an M too, but I couldn't find the M. This one is adorable with the little glitter, pink glitter that is on some parts of the scale. It says it's a wood block letter, so that'd be cool. This is actually made of real wood. It's hard to tell though with the paint job if it is or if it isn't. These next three items I actually bought for my sister. My sister is going to have kids at her wedding and she's making them like little gift bags so they're entertained during the wedding. So um, based off the amount of kids, there's three girls that are sitting at this table. So I did get her these three little donut lip glosses that she could put inside of the bags for them. So I got all three of them different so they would have something each different. Another new item Dollar Tree got in this week are their candle mirrors but this time they have a glitter board to them so they have them in all the shapes the circle square and um is it an octagon or a hexagon no I'm pretty sure it's an octagon anyways they had them in gold and in silver I got the silver ones I got three of the square mirrors and two of the circle mirrors I thought that was really cool because you can use these to do some DIYs but this time they're already spruced up a lot I got two more items to show you guys I was able to find this new little container from Dollar Tree that I've never seen before. At the bottom it says that it's a dollar but it says a dollar wow like it came from Family Dollar. It's the same type of writing and I swear Family Dollar and Dollar Tree are owned by the same people but I've never seen a container like this or organizer or whatever you want to call it um, at Dollar Tree before in this shape. And then the last thing that I got, oh guys, 
So I plan on having candelabras that look like this at my wedding and I have to make a bunch of them. So every time I go to Dollar Tree, I am slowly collecting a bunch of these candlesticks because this is what I'm going to need to um, make them. So every single time I go, like I said, I try to get two, three, four, sometimes five. I try not to go crazy with it because I know that at Dollar Tree, the cashiers have to wrap the glass up and I don't want to like hold up the line by buying a bunch of them. So I just kind of slowly collect them. But this time around, I went ahead and I picked up six and the only reason I did that was because I knew I was buying this and I could just stick them inside and have the um, cashier not um, wrap them up. I'll show you guys how I've been making these hopefully soon. I have the candles like this because at my wedding venue you cannot have an open flame so it has to be contained so that's why I have it like this. I'm sure candlesticks would look cool but at the same time even if I was able to have candlesticks I don't think I would trust it because people will be drinking and I just don't trust people drinking their candlesticks. So that is it for this week's Dollar Tree haul. As always, I like to end my hauls with a question. And last week, I wanted to know which Winnie the Pooh character you were based off of this test. Now, hands down, 100%, if you go back and you look at my comments, it's Piglet. I saw so many people say they were just like Piglet. And the one that was like actually the most surprising to me that I saw after Piglet was Owl. Because you kind of forget about Owl because he's not one of the main main characters. But there's a lot of owls out there. So for this week's question, I want to know yes or no. Are you ready for fall? I'm totally ready for fall. This summer was really fun. I learned how to water ski. I my uh, fiance we been together for six years but prior to this summer I rarely ever went out to his family's lake house and that's where I learned how to water ski but that's because I always work the weekend but this year at work I decided to change it that I get at least one weekend day off and also get off early on Saturday so I'm actually able to enjoy my summer because I've been working at where I've been working for a very long time it's like I've earned it I've worked every single weekend for years and years and years I need to enjoy my weekends now so this year I was able to enjoy summer but I'm ready for fall I love my hoodie weather I love the change of the leaves and then apple picking and all of that stuff I love it so 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 much the crappy thing is I know winter is then around the corner but the good thing to that that means Christmas is around the corner let me know down in the comments below if you're ready for fall or not and tell me why if you want to tell me if you're ready because you enjoy crunching those leaves or if you're not because you know that means winter is just around the corner. The crappy thing though is like Chicago's fall lasts like a week or two and then we just go directly into winter. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this week's Dollar Tree haul. Make sure you check out Dollar Tree because these are some great, great buys. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. Sugar. Oh, honey, honey. You are my candy girl. And you got me wanting you. I love this song. Bye.